everyone. I have a little bit of an art haul for you today. Um, I say a little bit of an art haul because it's not many things um, and some of it is actually, <laughs> well there's a mixture of stuff, let me explain. Um, something I bought three months ago from A Gallo. This is actually going to be featured in a separate video which is why I've been holding it back. I'm going to be doing the proper unboxing so you can see their gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. Even if you don't know, A Gallo is a maker of honey watercolors in Assisi in Italy. Um, they do shop updates, I think about once a month and they tend to sell out really quickly. I was lucky enough to buy one of their palettes, um, but it comes so beautifully packaged in another video where we will be swatching the colors and I'll be creating some artwork with this palette. I actually do the proper unboxing so you can see how, um, if you order anything from them, how it arrives and how they package it all with so much thought and care and beauty it really was like opening a gift so um, i just wanted to show you quickly what i'd bought from a gallo um, this little package here is actually my birthday gift from dominic so i'm going to quickly show you that but that will also be featured properly in a separate video and i also have some other art materials from jackson's um, partially bought with my affiliate credit and partially with my own money <laughs> so um, yeah just a few things but I don't like to have things coming into the studio and um, I don't show you because it's just another way of documenting my process um, it's nice for me to look back on these videos and to see the different things that I've decided to buy it's nice to share them with you um, but yeah I just thought it'd be interesting so I'm going to start with the A Gallo watercolours. So let's have a look at these. So this is the Naturale One palette. It's um, a palette of 12 natural watercolours. So like mineral pigments and plant pigments. Um, she includes in this palette an indigo. And this is the only one that isn't light fast. And so she said, if you would like to change it for a Payne's Grey, this one here, <laughs> she said that um, she could do that, she would switch them, but she very kindly sent me the palette with the indigo in and a separate Payne's Grey. I thought it was just going to be switched. She didn't charge me any extra for that, so I actually have an indigo for my sketchbook palette because obviously if this isn't light fast I won't be using it for original pieces that I'm going to sell so I'm going to switch that around and pop the Payne's Grey in there um, as you can see they're very similar in colour and um, yeah before I use it I'll pop that in there but it's such a beautiful little palette it feels really weighty it's got a really nice weight to it it feels really nice quality yeah we have this little swatch card so you can swatch out your paints and see um, how they look um, so yeah I'll be swatching those out in the other video and also creating a landscape painting because these colors I think are gonna be really good for the landscape painting I have in mind. It's gonna be based on a photo that Dominic took um, three months ago when we were out for a walk and it was around the time I bought this palette and I thought it would be perfect for painting that. So that's what I'm gonna do in another video which I'm hoping to film later today. So um, you get a little brush, a little travel brush which is really nice. This also feels a really nice weight. I'm gonna just show it to you quickly because obviously we're gonna go through all of this in another video. But um, yeah, little brush in there, 12 paints and a little swatch card. So yeah, you'll get to see the full unboxing and art creation and swatching and all of that in hopefully, I think, the next video, certainly it will be in the next couple of videos. And so on to my birthday present. Now this was my gift from Dominic. Let's just see if we can get this open. This is from Red Clover Meadow on Etsy. You can see she's included a little hand painted, um, it looks like handmade paper. Um, note <laughs> that says keep painting with hope and love Red Clover Meadow. I really love that. I did buy some paints from her um, just for the other week and she included one of those then as well, slightly different. So that's a really nice touch. Um, I love the way she packages everything. 
you can be assured that they won't get damaged in the post because <laughs> she pops them in this box and they're also in a little bag and they come in I think it came in a padded envelope this one um, so they're very well protected but you have a little bag with her stamp on oh did you hear that that was the door opening on its own I think I think it's just the wind let's hope so we do have some slightly ghostly goings on in this house sometimes so let's hope it's not that <laughs> I don't know whether you heard that I don't know whether it picked it up but um, I had the door closed and it's popped open anyway let's get back to this so we have the little tin you could actually order um, your paint in a tin like the one I just showed you, a palette, like a proper palette, or you could have them in a little tin like this. It was slightly less expensive to have them in this tin, so I said to Dominic, just um, let's get them in that tin because I can put magnets on the bottom and they can go in here. And I quite like these little tins. I think it's quite nice to have a variety of palettes. Obviously, I won't be um, using the lid to mix really but I would use probably a ceramic palette anyway so um, this was a little set that I curated myself she gives you the opportunity to put together um, a set of 12 of your own paints choosing from I think it was something like 40 colors so there were quite a few to choose from um, I knew I wanted a palette that was really quite well balanced with um, quite a few different colours in it but I didn't want anything apart from the ultramarine blue I didn't want anything too bright so everything is very natural she uses a lot of minerals in her paints so um, they do tend to be quite natural colours I can get them out and show you which ones I have she also included an extra little paint here which I'm a little bit confused about because it's another ultramarine blue which um, as I already have one in there, I'm not sure why she popped the same one in as an extra, but I'm very happy to have an extra paint and this one will be put to good use in one of my other handmade paint palettes. I mean, I always love ultramarine. It's a great mixing color as well. So I'm very happy to have that. But it was a little bit of a mystery because normally the sellers will put something different in that you don't already have. But um, yeah, I'm very grateful for that anyway. But yes, so the colours I chose were teal blue. Just pop those there as I get them out. Nicosia green. France green earth. Green earth. I love how each one has an actual swatch on the um, wrapper of the paint. So you can really see what it looks like. I have violet brown, hematite spinal, is that how you say that? So that's my darkest colour in this set. Lilac violet, really beautiful colour. And then the ultramarine. And then for my earthy yellows and reds, I chose yellow earth. Warm Yellow Earth, Venetian Red, and Violet Light. So as I said, these are going to be featured in a separate video. I'm not going to swatch them in this one, I just wanted to share them with you. But um, what I'll be doing is doing a proper swatching video and maybe just like um, I'm going to do with the Agello palette we will actually um, create some artwork just using this palette and we'll see what it can do. So I've unboxed the things from Jackson's mainly because I wanted to check on this beauty. Now this is a very large as you can see from my hands um, ceramic palette uh, for my watercolours that is going to live on my desk. I love the idea that I just have so much mixing space with this one. As you know, I have my little stackable palettes 
these little ceramic ones. I love these. Um, they're great because they don't take up much space on the desk. When you add them all up together, there's quite a lot of mixing space there because I bought two sets of those. But I've seen this palette. Um, other YouTubers have used it and I think I've seen it on Instagram as well. I found it on Jackson's and I fell in love with it. I just thought it's a really beautiful palette. It's the kind of thing that you invest in and you have it for years or forever because um, it will be just something, obviously I can't travel with it, it's incredibly heavy, but it will stay on the desk and um, I can just keep the paints on it. Um, obviously watercolour can just be re-wet, so to prevent them from getting dusty, they give you this plastic cover so you just pop that on like that, just fits on top very loosely. And they did say that if you use it with paints, say for example acrylic, you can perhaps keep them wet for a little while. But I won't be using it for acrylic, I'll be using it for um, watercolour. And I can't wait, frankly, because I think it's just such a beautiful object. I'm going to make space on the desk to keep it on here permanently. And yeah, it'll be kind of my main mixing palette. And then I'll add these little ones in whenever I need a little bit of extra space. Or perhaps if I don't want that on the desk for whatever reason one day, um, I will just switch and I'll use my smaller palettes. But this will be my main palette from now onwards. This size cost £30, so it wasn't cheap. And um, I had been thinking about it for a while. But yeah, I decided to use the bit of affiliate credit I did have left over on this. I thought this would be a nice treat, buy this for myself for my birthday. So something else I ordered from Jackson's, a couple more golden acrylic paints to add to my collection. Um, violet oxide and chromium oxide green dark. I'm gradually adding colours from my wish list on Jackson's. Um, I made a list of all of the colours I would really like to get. I got their hand painted colour chart the other month. You might remember if you saw the other art haul about a month or so ago. And uh, yeah, I went through that and I could see very clearly from the hand painted swatches exactly the kind of colours I wanted. So I added them all to the wish list and I'm just gradually buying them whenever I have a little bit of money and feel I can afford it. So I actually have quite a few golden paints now. I'm going to, as I said before, make a video where I swatch them all for you and I can show you the colours I have and how they look and um, yeah, maybe show you some artwork that I've created with them too. But that video will be coming up at some point in the future. And lastly, I bought two more things from Jackson's. Um, this lovely Etcher Everyday Sketchbook. They finally had the A5 back in stock, which was what I was looking for the other month, and they were out of stock for a while. So I grabbed that while I could, because I think these keep selling out quite quickly. Um, this is my favorite watercolor sketchbook at the moment. Let's see if I can just show you a close up can see the lightly textured pages, a really nice thick paper. It takes the paint really well, um, has a little pocket in the back, which is kind of handy. And yeah, really, really love these sketchbooks. So I ordered that while they had it. And then this is not very interesting to show you really like this, but it's basically, um, two very large sheets cut into quarters because they offer a paper cutting service for free. Um, so I've got it cut into quarters. This is the Canson Heritage. Let me just check on my receipt here. It's called the Canson Heritage uh, watercolour paper cold pressed 640 GSM. So it's really super heavyweight. It's so thick, so lovely. Um, the reason I know I like this paper is because you may remember in one of the previous art halls, I ordered some sample sheets from Jackson's and um, I tried it out and really loved it. So even though it's a little bit more expensive than the paper I would usually use, 
I decided to get some. It's actually, I think it was £10.50 a sheet. Yeah, so this paper here, it's been cut into eight smaller sheets. Um, that's £21 worth of paper there but definitely worth it. it, was beautiful for watercolour. So yeah, I'm really excited to actually create some more work on this paper. So there we go, that is today's art haul. And uh, yeah, I hope you found that quite interesting. It's always nice to share new materials with you and um, different supplies and you never know what you might come across. I love watching other people's art hauls, they're one of my favourite things to watch on YouTube and I often find lots of new supplies that way, things that I didn't even know existed sometimes as well. So um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, then I know that you enjoy this kind of video. I do take notice of um, the things that you're enjoying more and uh, yeah, I try to create more of that content for you, but I'm trying to mix it up and um, give you a little bit of everything, a bit of art creation, some artist vlogs, hauls, swatching, <laughs> favourites. I'm trying all sorts of different things. If you enjoy something, just thumbs it up and I'll know you liked it and I can make more of them. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Take care, stay safe, stay happy and stay creative. And I'll see you again soon for another video.